Hey guys, what's going on? It's me, Lego Master JM, here for another episode of Undertale. Welcome back to episode 8, guys. Now, you guys have been showing a lot of improvement towards this, which I greatly appreciate. And I have so much fun doing this, because I love... I love Undertale. This is... it's such a cool thing. So, we last time ended off here at Girl Beast. Uh, we were talking to Sans and stuff like that, so... Um... I forgot what exactly... We were continuing the story. Ah! Here's Papyrus. So, yeah. <coughs> I gotta get in my Papyrus voice. So, you came back to have a date with me? You must re be really serious about this. I'll have to take your... I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a, a lot of my time. So, I'm not even touching the keyboard right now. My house! Papyrus! <laughs> Jeez, dude! Um, what's that underneath that door? That doesn't reassure me. <laughs> welcome to... Mm, welcome to scenic my house. Enjoy and take your time. Oh, this is cool. He's got a... Oh, it's my favorite game show. It says stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? It's usually better than this. It's... This is just a better episode. Don't judge me. Okay, then. <laughs> Why is there a wreck? This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. And usually, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. <laughs> It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Yes. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. Ah! Oh, you look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. There's another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. It's a joke! That's my room. If you're finished looking around, we could go in and do whatever people do when they date. Uh, sure, why in the heck not? So, um, if you've seen everything, do you want to start the date? Begin the date. Uh, sure, what the heck? Okay, dating start. Dating start. Here we are, on our date. I've actually never been done this before. But don't you worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an original dating rule book from the library. We're ready to get, have a great time. Let's see. Step one. Press the C key on your keyboard for dating hub. Wowee! I feel so informed. I think we're ready for step two. Step two. Ask them on a date. Ahem. Human! I, the great Papyrus, will go on a date with you. Sure, why the heck not? Really? Wowie! I guess that means it's time for part three. Step three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. 
wear clothing. That bandage hanging off of you. You're wearing clothing right now. Not only that. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. Well, I I can't go just straight out in the nude. Come on, Papyrus. That's... No, could it be? You've wanted to date me f from the very beginning. Uh, sure. I don't want to get his hopes up, so yeah. No! You planned it all. You've been... You're way better than at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've busted me yet. I, the great papyrus, have never been beaten at dating, and I never will. I can easily keep up with you. You see, I too can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. Just in case somebody happens to ask me on a date. Behold! What do you think of my secret style? No! A genuine compliment! Or the heck not. However, you don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you just said was invalid. This date won't circulate any further. Unless you find my secret. Unless you find my secret. But that won't happen. Move in and... Human souls are stronger th than monster souls. But the souls of our shoes, on the other hand, are about the same. This shirt didn't originally say cool, but I improved it. Expert tip. All clothing articles can be improved this way. My hat. My hat. My hat! Yeah! Well then, you found my secret. I suppose I have no choice. It's a present. A present just... Just for you. Do you know what this is? I'm guessing a plate is spaghetti. Spaghetti! That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right! But oh, so wrong! This ain't a, a play, any plain old pasta. This is a artisan's work. Silken spaghetti. Final aged in an oaken cast. Then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Human! It's time to end this! There's no way this can go any further. Take a small light. That's a Pesnoyant expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Maybe even more than I do. <laughs> that face just always gets me. No! Well, that went overboard. Human, it's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Eventually, you do everything you say. It's all been for my sake. Human, I want to be happy too. It's been for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, boy, is it happening here or is it just me? Oh, shoot. Human, I... I'm sorry. I don't like you th the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. I mean, 
I tried very hard to. I thought that because you flirted with me, that I was supposed to go on a date with you. Then, on the date, things would blossom forth. I would be able to match your passion for me. But alas, I, the great papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Dark prison of passion with no escape. How could I have done this to be to my dear friend? No, wait, that's wrong. I can't feel at anything. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this all never happened. After all, you are very great. It would be tragic to lose your, your friendship. So please, don't cry because I, I won't kiss you. Wait, what? Because I don't even have lips. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second base. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and if you ever need to reach me, here's my phone number. You can call me anytime. What a form, Agri. Well, gotta go. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, weird. The door is locked. Okay, I'm guessing that's Sanchez's room, so he doesn't want me in there. Uh, so I'm guessing we just continue forward from here. Well, that was really cool. I like that. That was, uh, I'm not overly fun with the date part, but I'm, it was interesting to see, so. Let's see, time-wise, we're doing good. We're about 12 and a half minutes in. So that gives us like seven and a half minutes left. Because with this, I only go up to 20 minutes. And that may be a little bit higher expectations, but eh. Continue forward from here. This is... Is this just the same place? So... Yeah. This is a box. You can put an item in it or take an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. Use the box? Yes. Nothing in the box. Okay. It's down here. I swore I saw something behind that rushing water. Huh? There's a camera behind the waterfall. Well, that's strange. Is that the only thing down here? Okay. It's just in the cup. Well, poop. Um, come on first. Woo! Got through it. Something tells me this is a bad spot. <gasps> oh my goodness, Papyrus! Uh, hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Uh, regarding that 
human I called you, you about earlier. Huh? Did I fight them? Yes, of course I did. I fought them finality. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. I tried very hard on dying, but in the end, I failed. What? You're going to take the human soul yourself? But I'm dying. You don't have to destroy them. You see? You see? I understand. I'll help you in any way I can. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. creepy. That was very creepy. Me don't like creepy stuff. Dang it, monster kid. <laughs> Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. What did you do to get her attention? Uh -huh. Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Oh. Jeez, monster kid. Clumsy as ever. Feeling of dread hangs over you, but you stay determined. There we go. When four bridge seeds align in water, they will sprout. I love that squeak. So, it's cute! Boop. There we go. That wasn't hard. Oh! Aaron flexes in. Hello. Keyboard just glitched. There's a sign down there, but I can't reach it. No, that's not going to work. If an area is made, the bell blossom can call bridge seeds back to where it started.
I don't know how to get past this one. It's a little hard. Um, let's see. Oh, and we're 20 minutes in anyways. Well, I'm going to leave the episode off here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, be sure to smack that like button with your face. No, don't actually do that. That would be mean. It'd be like, it'd be like you hitting your face on the keyboard, your mom, your parents asking, why did you do it? And I would be blamed for something like that. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy. Hit that like button as well as subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Keep on building.